physically this is a bigger rig than what we just looked at, which uh, I want to know more about, but also Grizzly Flats Volunteer Fire Department. Grizzly Flats, that rings a bell. What's, what's that about? That was uh, a, a fictional town in a Walt Disney movie. And the reason this one was decorated with that name on the hoods was the previous owner was Ward Kimball, was one of Walt Disney's first animators. One of the, they called him one of the nine old men that helped create the whole Disney empire. And uh, Ward Kimball was a real interesting man. He, he liked fire engines, he loved trains, he, 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 had a, he had a band called the Firehouse Five that uh, they used to assemble in the back of this fire engine and drive around Disneyland and playing bluegrass music. So uh, Ward Kimball bought this fire engine from the Los Angeles City Fire Department in about 1951, best our records can show. This fire engine was originally in service with the Venice Fire Department here in Venice, California. Venice Fire Department was taken over by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, and this became LA City Engine 63. So upon its retirement, Ward Kimball purchased it, and he did this restoration you see on it now, made it into a, uh, into a vehicle that he can carry his band. And since he had been a participant in this movie with Grizzly Flats as the town, he made his fire engine Grizzly Flats. When we went to pick this fire engine up for him from his, his, his estate, on, that prop, on his property was a little town called Grizzly Flats. He actually took a lot of the set from that movie and he, he recreated it on his property. So he had a train depot and a water, ta water tank for his steam locomotives that would run back and forth on the property. He had a firehouse and in that firehouse he had this uh, 1916 American of France as well as an 1888 Silsby steam pumper. Uh, we were just thrilled to, to get this great piece of firefighting history, but we're more excited by the history that it has with Ward Kimball. Yeah, and Ward Kimball, uh, one particular character that everybody can identify that he, he drew was... Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. 